Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about correlation matrix and plotting the correlation matrix in Python Jupyter Notebook. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So let's see how to do correlation matrix in Python Jupyter Notebook. To open a new notebook, go to Jupyter, then Python 3. It will open a new notebook. Label this as test correlation matrix or you can even write tutorial tutorial correlation matrix so we have the uh, notebook renamed as correlation matrix now let's use the coding we need to import some of the libraries import pandas spd import numpy snp import um, seaborn as uh, sns import uh, matplotlib as plt import um, from scipy import uh, stats from scipy dot stats import Pearson so now all the uh, we are importing all the dependencies uh, or the libraries for the uh, for the coding and uh, analyzing the data so once we have uh, done this uh, we can uh, we can use the uh, data set for the analysis so here uh, matplotlib dot pyplot actually as uh, plt okay now we have all the uh, required libraries loaded now let's call the database uh, for that we can assign a uh, name and data is equal to uh, pd dot read csv read underscore csv then we can go to the uh, file and just copy the path so we have the file here in the the path is copied just paste it here the file name is hcv I think it is hcv underscore data dot csv uh, the path is ready now we can call this and check whether what data is there in that so there is one error I think the space shouldn't be there okay now we have the data here uh, it is loaded into the data so we can open this file and check so now we have the category here uh, as uh, so different categories are there we have blood donors uh, have uh, blood donor is there uh, people with cirrhosis fibrosis hepatitis and uh, suspect blood donor and we have age category uh, sex 
then different uh, biochemistry parameters measurement of different uh, biochemistry parameters like albumin um, alkaline phosphatase and uh, uh, alt alanine amino transferase uh, ast aspartate amino transferase uh, gamma glut uh, gamma and ggt yeah, that is a uh, gamma glutel transferase creatinine and other parameters called in estrase and bilirubin etc now, these data are biochemical data uh, values we have so what we are going to do is to analyze this data in python and find out the correlation matrix we do a correlation matrix with this uh, data so so we have the uh, data here already now let's get some info about the data what is there in that so we have uh, category age uh, sex and other parameters and the d type value of each of these are already available now we have seen the data and uh, if you describe this let's um, describe this value so we have the count and mean standard deviation minimum maximum value of each of these categories so the minimum age is uh, 19 in this and max age is 77 so the age group is between uh, 19 and 77 and similarly for all the parameters we have the minimum value and the maximum value now we got the information about the d type and other parameters now straight away we can go for the analysis so what i'm going to do is uh, select the uh, hepatitis group initially for that we can filter this so i'm just giving hep assigning this to hep this is for easy understanding data dot lock and i'm selecting the data dot category is equal to hepatitis so now we have filtered the hepatitis now we can uh, use uh, you can use this data for getting the correlation matrix let's see how to do that it is uh, it can be done very uh, easily so correlation matrix of hepatitis let's say that is is equal to that is dot core and let's call this correlation matrix you can just copy and paste this uh, variable and run this so now we have the correlation matrix uh, ready but it has multiple uh, decimal points so we can limit this to two or three just give round two now we have the correlation matrix so we have the x uh, in the columns and rows with the same titles and the correlation value of each of this so this is very difficult to you know uh, look at so what we can do is uh, to make a heat map using sns seaborne uh, let's do that plt dot uh, figure and we will give the fig size figure size is equal to let's say 10 and 8 close this now we can plot this we can assign this to plot sns dot heat map 
and the data what we want to give is heat map dot so the hepatitis dot uh, correlation dot round two so the we want to limit this to two decimal point that's why we are giving two now if you run oh there is an error here okay so it should be figure not okay now let's run this yes now we have the uh, uh, heat map uh, ready uh, but uh, here we have got the values but there is no um, uh, what you say there is no numbers in this only graded scale is there but we wanted to put the numbers here so for that we can use annotate function just use uh, annot is equal to true now we have the values here in this so similarly we have the uh, matrix but this is with the heat map so we can just see the data we can even put the uh, title so this plot dot set underscore title the title what we want is hepatitis just run this so now we have all the details here now we can look at the uh, diagonal line will be always uh, one that is fully correlated because it is matching with the same data point here here and here so when we look at this uh, we can see the pearson coefficient or the r value uh, is high uh, for creatinine and uh, ggt it is matching with this or it is highly correlated that means uh, the creatinine and the level of creatinine and uh, uh, ggt are uh, highly elevated in uh, in case of uh, people with hepatitis and also uh, the other parameters you can see here ggt um, and alp is uh, 0.87 and here ggt and uh, yeah uh, alp uh, is high so that means there is a correlation uh, positive correlation with the infection and the elevated levels of uh, alp or ggt um, or even the uh, the creatinine levels uh, creatinine uh, in this case um, it is high uh, ggt and creatinine so there is a uh, positive correlation uh, uh, between this now uh, we can just copy and analyze other uh, data also just copy this and uh, let's see so let us hide this one let's say we want to see the uh, data for blood donor so it is blood donor and uh, let's change this to bd So this should be BD. So the correlation matrix for the blood donor data. So this is the correlation matrix for the blood donor data. And now let's plot this uh, for the. So here it should be BD. And here we can change it to blood donor. So now we have the plot so you can see here there is no elevated levels of uh, um, and there is no uh, elevated levels of uh, any of the biochemistry parameters in this case so there is no correlation with the infection so these are uh, blood donors so we can see here there is no uh, higher correlation between these two that means uh, when you don't have an infection there is no uh, increase in the 
in the uh, levels of these uh, biochemistry parameters so similarly we can use this data for uh, cirrhosis let's say cirrhosis you can analyze cirrhosis i'll just write uh, cirrhosis cir so we need to change this to cir so we will uh, just check the cirrhosis plot first and then we will so this is the matrix and now we can plot this let's plot this and check so now in this case you can see uh, there are increased uh, correlation co there are correlation uh, with higher values here so uh, in case of liver cirrhosis also these tend to have higher uh, increased levels of um, you know uh, alp and other ggts etc so we can also look at uh, fibrosis data now uh, we can just paste this and use um, fibrosis we can just define i'm just defining this giving this name let's see in case of fibrosis what is the data correlation you can just correct these values here and this will be fibrosis so now we have the uh, data point here uh, in case of fibrosis there is no uh, significant correlation uh, in or the elevated levels uh, is in case of fibrosis what we have seen is the highest correlation uh, data you can see Uh, mostly in case of hepatitis the most of uh, this has increased uh, higher correlations uh, like 0.73 and 0.87 all those things we have seen but if you go go to just the blood donor with uh, without having the hepatitis infection there is no increased levels of this um, and when case of a cirrhosis a patient with cirrhosis you can see uh, the higher level of uh, uh, ggt and uh, it is correlating that the levels of uh, alp and uh, ggt are elevated and it is correlating to that so increased levels we can see where in case of uh, fibrosis uh, not much correlation is there with the increase in level uh, so we can also check the suspected uh, uh, blood donor uh, so I, i just need to go back and check what was the um, category here let's check suspected so we can just paste here so we can just give obds this is a blood donor suspect we'll change this to bds here category is i think it is blood donor suspect not sure need to check bds here it will be bds bds yes now we have blood on suspect let's check uh, what is the whether it will run yes some issue is there we need to look into that what is the issue i think blood donor suspect
ओके लेट्स गो टू दिस फाइल एंड चेक वी कैन इवन ओपन देयर द वी कैन जस्ट कैटेगरी वी कैन गो इट इज सस्पेक्ट ब्लड ब्लड डोनर इंस्टेड ऑफ ब्लड डोनर सस्पेक्ट दैट वाज द एरर so we can just change that and it should be fine so now we have a suspect blood donor here so let's run and check whether yes now we have Uh, the data here, and you can see with the color itself that there are many parameters which are uh, higher compared to the normal person. Uh, in case of suspect, uh, there is uh, definitely higher level of uh, uh, correlations. Uh, here, there is bilirubin is negatively correlated, and uh, other parameters also. Mm. There is some level of correlation in the uh, cholesterol, but may not be really useful in case of uh, liver disease. Um, yeah, so uh, this is how we can use um, correlation metrics for analysis uh, uh, in this case. So hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, uh, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.